Okay, I am back for just a bit here. I have to share with you these two books I just got in the mail. Book number four and number 18. Vicki sent me these out from Alan. Okay, we're just going to do a flip through, and I haven't even gotten to look through all of it yet. So, let's see. Still Life's Advanced. Woo! Okay, this just tells information. Oh, wow. Look at all the little tiny areas. Oh, these are the ones that have a quote on the back of every page. Look at that. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at all the detail. These are going to be fun. Here, let's zoom you in some. These are really good. You know, something I'm noticing, especially right here all of a sudden, a lot of books that are done AI, they have a lot of little, like, things just sticking out that don't connect to anything, or things that you can't really tell what they are. They're just little blobs, and you got to make it up. This, this is good. Um, Vicki, if you're watching this, um, you and Alan have... This is good. I'm impressed. Look at all these pages. And the flowers are not the same on all of them. The vases are not the same in all of them. There's lots of texture just flowing through each page. There's opportunities to do darker edges and lighter in the front to make your surfaces look rounded. The little tarts. Yeah, a good chance to practice on your fruit. Oh, look at those jars. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, this is uh, ranking up there at the top of Alan and Vicki Kosky books. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be um, sitting and doing some coloring in one of these soon. I can't wait to look at the next one now. Oh. <laughs> So, yeah, I finally pulled myself away from the other room. It's almost 10 o'clock. It's Friday night for me right now. And our granddaughter is asleep in the other room. And she, look at the depth you're going to be able to get in these flowers. Because of the petals flipping over the front, you'll go darker back here, which will really make these pop. Um, anyway. Yeah, she just fell asleep like 10 minutes ago. Her bedtime is like 8, 8.30. <laughs> but she's at Grandma and Grandpa's. So we let her stay up a little bit. I didn't realize how late it was. We were watching a little movie on TV with her. And it was a little over half over. And I'm like, oh, honey, no, it's too late. You're going back. you got to go to bed. But I can't sleep. Y'all know how it goes. So, but she is sleeping now. I love how this has the colored pencils in it, especially with us being color pencil artists. Don't want to miss any pages. That glass. Now, a lot of times when you see glass, they don't show something behind it, and this actually does. And usually when you look through glass, you're looking through, the item showing through is bigger, and this captures that. So, um, yeah, very good. Very good. Okay, so recommendation on this book? Highly. There are so many different features in this book that you could practice on. Um, each vase, vessel appears to be different from the one before, one way or another. Um, there was little 
tarts, there's cakes, there's, um, there's been fruit, there's books, there's been a multitude of flowers and greenery, some round wooden shapes, there's some more books, old tattered areas, so yeah, I don't care if you're a beginner or a seasoned artist, a colorist, this is a book I feel like you could enjoy. So, um, yeah, kudos to them. I'm so glad that they sent this out. Okay, let's take a look at the other one. Kaleidoscope of Patterns. Okay, and again, it's going to have the um, verses on the back of each page, the little quotes. Okay, so this is more like mandalas and stained glass. I do like that. So these look like they would be um, too intricate. I do like the every other page where they're bigger. So it's, it's a total breakaway from what book four was that we just looked like with the still lifes. This one's a total different feel to it. So, I mean, it's definitely um, going to be for an audience of people that like to practice their coloring in different little areas. Or if you like the gel pens, you could take those to that. Um, I don't know if it's the printing or what. Some of this is not inked all the way to the edges. So for me personally, not this book as much. See, I like that. Um, I like that one. So it's, it's hit or miss to me on this book. I will still use this book when I'm wanting to experiment with pencils and doing different things there. I can see me using it for that. I still like that they put the quotes on the back side of the pages. I think that is nice. So, a uh, recommendation on this book. If the rounds and the mandalas are your thing, I think you'll probably like it. If little bitty areas like these are your thing, I think you'll probably like it. I see that the shapes are closed in. There's no extra things sticking out like we see on so many books that are AI computed. But, um, yeah, not it's not necessarily my taste, but here they've, they've shown how you can do some of them inside, and I think that's lovely. The bigger pictures, yes, I really like those. Um, so, but indeed, it's like a kaleidoscope. Remember when we were kids, we would look through those kaleidoscopes and turn and see the different things repeat. So that's what that one is. That's book number 18. This one is Still Life, and it's book number four. I will put, um, and it says Advanced on here. And I think they've really, when they said Advanced, They've really gone all out on this one. This one is definitely, to me, something worth sinking your time into. Okay, your time and your money. So anyway, these are both on Amazon. So there's your ISBNs. And um, yeah, I would, I would definitely look into this one if you're looking into a new book, adult coloring books. All right, so um, I am going to put, I've been spending a lot of time crocheting eggs and um, hats for marshmallow mugs and all that kind of stuff for my Etsy store. 
So maybe next time I'll come back and do a little review on some more stuff in there. But um, yeah, I'll post a link for the books here for their stuff. And um, you can go take a look. I think there was a special link in the front here too. Yeah, see this is a 2024. It just has a different look to it. I will put their web address and all of that down in the description. When is this one? Yeah, they're really putting out, they've got a lot of books out, y'all. 2024 for this one also. Yeah. Okay, so there's the web address right there. I'll just You can just pause and copy that down if you want. And then um, that, that way I won't bother putting it in the description. You can be able to get it right there. But yeah, really impressed with this book. Okay? All right. So uh, Vicki, Allen, good job. Love seeing this more like this. This is, this is awesome. So, um, talk to y'all later. Have a good week and stay safe out there. Bye.